Okay, starting off turn number seven with Arjun. So Arjun's slowed, but he can still move to an unexplored edge. All he has to do is move one space here. But uh, Alyssa did one damage to the gargoyles, so it'd be nice if he can finish it off. Now he's going to have to roll an eight to do that with Tide of Iron. Is there anything else that we may consider doing? Um, I mean, we, we can always use the, uh, we, we, this is instead of attacking, so we're never going to do that. Um, play gain plus one, then aren't adjacent, we're probably never going to have that be of any use. Yeah, most likely these aren't going to be of any good to us. Uh, maybe Necklace of Fire, let me see. Attack each, oh, so yeah, that's not currently any good. Alright, so he's going to use Tide of Iron and attack. You can just, we need to roll an 8 to hit, so let's hope we get an 8. Oh my god, of course not. Got a three, so Arjun is too stunned to do anything, so he swings and misses at the gargoyle. But, I think. Yeah, that's it. So he swung and missed, but he still has his movement, so he's going to move here. So Arjun... Attacked and missed, moved, does not get treasure, but he is going to explore. And now he's at the end of his, uh, at the end of his hero phase, the slowness wore off. So that's going to go away. And we're going to get a new dungeon tile. And a new monster. Actually, I kind of hope it's a gargoyle. Hey, Woody called it. And the reason I say that is because uh, the rule states that no hero can have the same monster under their own activation. So this gargoyle just goes in the discard pile. I hope we get another gargoyle. Wait. Ghoul. Um, Alright, so the ghoul comes out. Put it onto the bone pile of the newly drawn tile, and let's update for Arjun. So he drew a tile, he got a black tile, placed a ghoul. Um, we will have an encounter that we cannot do anything about, and the gargoyle will activate, and the ghoul will activate. So first up, the encounter that we can't do anything about, so I hope it's not terrible. Animated armor. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. That's just Arjun. Oh boy, let's hope that misses. If this hits, Arjun's dead. So it's a plus seven, so it needs to roll. Oh good, it's a one. So, but it still does one damage, unfortunately. So that event goes away. Now the gargoyle activates. If the gargoyle is within one tile of a hero, and it is because it's uh, already adjacent to Alyssa, it moves to the closest hero so it stays where it's at and attacks with the Whirlwind of Claws. And it's just going to attack Alyssa only because it's on... she's the only one on that tile. So it gets a plus eight so it's gonna have to roll really low to miss. And hey, that's really low. So it misses. But it still is going to do that one damage to Alyssa on a miss. And Alyssa is hurting like Arjun. Now the ghoul activates. If it's Jason, it's not. If it's within one, it is. It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks with Paralyzing Claw. So it's going to move up here. Uh, let's see here. And now this is another case, you know, some people would say move it here because that's the closest adjacent. But the way I read the rules, you move bone pile to bone pile, and then you move adjacent to the hero. That's my interpretation. Um, so claw plus seven. Uh, Thirteen, that's going to hit. 
and that was in the mobilization on Arjun. So we cannot move. All right, so let's update. Arjun is now MO and and he takes one damage, bringing him down to one. So he is on death's door. But that will be the end of Arjun's turn number seven. So we'll move into Alyssa. She's adjacent to that pesky um, gargoyle. And we definitely want that thing out of here. So she's going to ping it, do the other damage to it to take it down. No questions asked. We want that thing out of here. So the gargoyle goes down. And we now have five experience, so we can cancel an encounter. So let's shuffle our experience cards around. So here we have a stack of five, and here we're starting a new one. And Melissa will get treasure for taking down the gargoyle. And it is a item, and the sun hasn't set yet, so we can use this. So we'll... Uh, well, the thing is, she rarely rolls the dice. But you can re-roll any dice. It doesn't have to be an attack. So we'll go ahead and let her have it. But I do want to kind of put it in the middle of the table to remember that she has it. Well, I'll put it on top of her card. Hopefully I'll remember it's there. So let's see, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need four more and then we can head to the, head to the exit. <clears throat> so let's update for Alyssa. So she didn't need a healing surge. She has not yet moved. She did attack. She got that treasure. Now, will she move? Let's see. Arjun's immobilized. Let's have Alyssa move. Should we have her? Yeah, I guess we'll have her move over here towards Arjun to help her, help him. And she is not slowed or anything. No, that's wore off. So she can go one, two, three, four, five. We'll have her move over here. And with her scout, she can still explore. So she attacked. She got treasure. She moved. Now she's exploring. Again, we want to try to stay somewhat close to the start tile because we once, once we get those 12... Treasure items, we just want to get out of here as fast as possible, so we don't want to be super far away. <clears throat> so, white tile. So, we move the tracker forward again. So, now, uh, monster. Wolf. Place the wolf on the newly drawn dungeon tile. And let's update for Alyssa. So she got a white tile, a wolf, no encounter, wolf. So her wolf activates. If it's adjacent, it's not. If it's within two, it is. It moves adjacent and attacks with the pounce. So it's just going to move straight up, adjacent to Alyssa, and attack with the pounce. It's got a plus seven on that. If it hits, it also slows her down. 14, that's definitely going to hit. 14 and seven is 21. So this is now slowed in addition to being hit. So she's also down to one hit point. They're both going to be in need of a surge. Okay, so she slowed and the wolf went. Ending turn number seven. So we will begin turn number eight after this.